The 16th witness who took the stand, DSP MV Sri Kumar, told the court that Azila Hadri and second accused Corporal Cyril Azar Omar only took basic training on handling explosives under his supervision. He testified that the type of explosives used in basic training were also used in operations. Answering questions by Counsel Hamzan Ahmad, Kumar said, throughout his service as a training officer of the Special Action Squad in Bukit Aman, Azila had never been instructed to handle explosives in any operations carried out by the squad. He said Azila was not categorized among those competent to handle explosives. Kumar also told the court that the second accused, Cyril Azha and Azila, had never undergone breaching training. In the breaching training, personnel were exposed to the use of explosives to break into doors, walls and grills. He also said there was a strict procedure in taking out the explosives from the UTK Armory store. To do so, any personnel or officer must record the quantity of explosives taken and returned to the store. Meanwhile, in the afternoon session, the court was told that the name Altantuya Sharibu was recorded as a guest in Hotel Malaya. Operation manager Lu Mao Chan, who stands as the 17th witness, said Altantuya had checked in on October 9th last year. Lu also said three tapes of the hotel CCTV recording were handed over to the police. Those tapes were recordings on the 9th, 18th and 19th October 2006. He said the CCTV recording showed visuals of the hotel's lobby, outside the lift and the alley of the 8th floor. The recording will be previewed to the court on hearing next Monday.